Hi, welcome to the Center of Math's Problem of the Week. This week, we're looking at this sum. Um, right off the bat, we're going to look and see if we can simplify this sum into something that looks nice. Um, so for now, we're just going to set n to be something big, because we're taking the limit as n goes to infinity. And n is the end of the index here. So um, let's write out the first few terms of this sum. So Pretty clearly, after just the first few terms, we can see that as this changes, um, we're just going to be adding up without any reductions due to telescoping or something like that. So I'm just going to erase this. This was a good idea, but it's always good to check. Right, so what else can we do? with this. Um, let's try to simplify it. So now we have a uh, much better much more simplified, easier to work with thing, monster to deal with. Um, what we've done is simplified this, this log, and since this 1 over n does not depend on our index k, we have pulled it out of the sum, and this 1 over n will act on the entire sum. Um, and we can also simplify the term inside the natural log by um, simplifying the fraction. Um, it will help to notice that we have a n over n plus k over n. And the n over n, of course, is just 1. So it's always good to have 1s in our, in our problem because 1s are nice and nice. Um, Um, so now we have this, uh, k times 1 over n, 1's, um, and another 1 over n. So this 1 over n should, um, because n, of course, is going to infinity, should represent um, some very small qu quantity that we're adding to 1, which is basically, well, I'll save the, the big so reveal for the end. But for now, we could write out the first few terms of this sum and see if we get anything useful. So cool, we have um, our natural log of 1, natural log of 1 plus a little bit, because this and it approaches in, approaching infinity makes 1 over n be an infinitesimal, practically. Um, we have 1 ln of 1 plus a little bit plus another little bit, so we have two little bits. And then, of course, as k goes to n, the, as k reaches the end of our index, we'll have ln of 2. Um, so what, what this all means is we're adding up values of ln of x plus delta x 
and multiplying each of those by some delta x. Um, to make it more clear, maybe drawing a graph of what we're doing um, will help. So we're integrating, basically. Uh, it was a big uh, messy problem that we managed to get into something that we're all hopefully familiar with. Um, now, all that's left is to find out the limits of our integration, which are, is going to be 1 and 2, since this is um, naturally going to be 2 as k becomes n. So, We just have to evaluate this integral, which is uh, done by parts. So now we have the integral of u dv. And if you recall, integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. Um, so we'll write that out. And this becomes 1 dx. And that, of course, becomes x. So we have x ln x. Um, evaluated from 1 to 2. So um, I'm just going to do this real quick. And this minus becomes plus on the um, lower bound. And ln of 1, of course, is 0. And so this is just going to become 2 ln of 2 minus 1, which is perfectly fine to write because uh, it's easy to look at. Just plug it into a calculator if you need to. And if you did, you'll get um, about 0.38. you'll get about 0.38629. Yeah, thank you for watching. Check out our playlist for more problems of the week. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel here and visit our website at centerofmath.org.